Imagine your country's money isn't just for trade, but a chain holding back your future. This isn't fiction. It's a reality for 14 African nations using the CFA franc. The CFA franc, introduced by France in 1945, is more than just currency. It's a tool of monetary imperialism. This concept involves a powerful nation controlling another's monetary policy, impacting its economy and politics to its advantage. And this is one of the major reasons stoking resentment of West and Central African nations against French influence in the region. Monetary imperialism uses financial mechanisms to exert influence. With the CFA franc, here's how it plays out. First, the fixed exchange rate. The CFA franc is pegged to the euro, which offers stability but prevents these countries from adjusting their currency value to enhance export competitiveness. Second, the French guarantee. France ensures that the CFA francs can be converted into euro. This requires the Sahel countries to keep substantial foreign reserves in the French treasury, effectively outsourcing their financial safety net. Thirdly, the centralization of reserves. A significant portion of former French colonies' foreign reserves is held in France, restricting their ability to use these funds for local development. And finally, monetary policy control. The French Treasury and the European Central Bank set policies for CFA franc countries limiting their ability to address local economic needs. So what's the impact? These 14 nations struggle with non-competitive exports and ongoing dependency on France. Their inability to manage their own monetary policy leads to persistent underdevelopment and poverty. The CFA franc system showcases how monetary imperialism hinders economic progress and keeps these nations in a cycle of poverty. But awareness is key to change. Understanding these financial dynamics is the first step towards reclaiming economic sovereignty and driving development.